Hello, once again, I think this is going to be the shortest video um, because I realized that when I was doing the video, I think it came off a little judgy, um, maybe a tad bit angry. Mm. <laughs> and I don't want to come off as that. I really do mean well. Um, you see the title and you know we're going to talk about languages, right? But first, Thank you for being here once again. My name is Felicia. This is In My Travels. I have lived and worked most of my adult life abroad in places like Sweden, France, South Korea, and most recently, China. So I know a thing or two or 100 about living, working, and thriving abroad. Uh, I just want to talk about the importance of learning the language of your new country. I think it is so important that you learn as much as you possibly can before moving to your new country. I think it is respectful to do this. I think it would behoove you to learn as much and as many phrases uh, for your daily life before setting foot on foreign soil. Because if you don't do this, you're going to find that your dream of moving abroad for however long you intend to move abroad is going to become a nightmare. And I don't want that for you. I, I really do want you to have that experience of creating um, a new life, uh, perhaps a new identity. You know, you're gonna you're gonna find out things about yourself um, when you move abroad that you wouldn't know uh, by staying here in the U.S. And that's just the truth. So whether you're moving abroad or working abroad just for a sabbatical, you know, maybe three months or six months, or it could be what you think is going to be your forever home. You cannot live in a bubble. It's okay to know, um, you know, other Americans while you're there. However, you have to know the language. So before you go, learn some daily phrases. Sit down. Write out the things that you do here, you know, here in the U.S. on a daily basis. Um, and, you know learn some phrases that you will have to, you know, to learn, like, you know, maybe you're, you're lost or somewhere, you're looking for something. So how do you ask for directions? How do you ask for help? How do you greet someone uh, respectfully? Because let me tell you, for those people who have chosen France to live, you know, if you're not really into the language, you're, you know, you're just into the fantasy of living in, in France and in particular Paris. If you think you're going to walk up to someone and just start asking them questions, you're going to find yourself with a kind of egg on your face <laughs> because everything begins any interaction with French people begins with hello bonjour right and that's just not you know learn there's culture behind that so you're learning the language but as you learn the language you learn about the culture of a place you you learn what is acceptable what is unacceptable you don't want to be the ugly American whenever you move to wherever it is that you are planning on moving to. You don't want to, you don't want to have that reputation because people talk and you're probably going to stick out like a sore thumb. <laughs> well, maybe not like a sore thumb, but you're going to stand out. You know, people can see your Americanness as soon as they see you, right? And it's, it's and especially as soon as you speak, right? But you want to learn manners. Uh, what are manners? What, uh, what is acceptable in that country? And you will only learn this by learning the language, which will then teach you about the culture, right? So I speak English. 
I was born and raised here in the US. I left the US at 20 and my first time abroad was um, Sweden. And then I moved to Paris and you know, so I had to learn Swedish and that culture. I had to, and that language. And I had to learn, um, I actually learned French here in the US. Um, and that was only as a sophomore at university. But then I did my junior year abroad. And that's when I was forced to speak French every single day. And that led to fluency. And then, you know, you, you, I began to work there and, uh, and all that wonderful stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and all of that wonderful stuff. Um, and now South Korea and then China. So learn the language. You're going to do yourself a great service by learning the language. Because let me tell you, when you learn the language, just the, even the simplest sentences, um, people just, they, they're so, they, they help you, right? Doors will open that don't open for other people who are just living in their ex expat bubble and just think that, you know, they're just going to bring their American way of life to their new, their new country. And then they find themselves isolated. And you don't want to find yourself in that. Um, I'm sure, you know, everyone who is here, um, and thank you for supporting me. Please, if this is your first time here, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. That helps me out. Um, I just have a wealth of information and experience that I want to share with you all. If you have any questions about living abroad, working abroad, thriving abroad, please put them down in the comments. I love helping people. Um, I get to speak, you know, now um, I've changed jobs. I get to speak with French people every single day. They are some of my best clients. I love, 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 I love French people. I really do. Um, yeah. So please learn the language. If you want to know uh, about Swedish culture, if you want to know about French culture and South Korean culture, I wasn't in China too long. Um, and that was due to the pandemic. But if you want to know about those three, I have some information for you. Um, yeah, and I have some news coming up that I will share with you hopefully in two weeks. Anywho, thank you so much for being here. This is a very short, uh, hopefully uh, meaningful um, video for you and um, come back again. Thank you. Like, comment and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.